Hello folks, we have been discussing how to provide access for one user in an account called as dev account or an acceptance account to a bucket which is in another account here in our use case it is going to be a production account. So I have written a github article, let us go ahead and see what are the steps that are required to go ahead and implement this cross account access. So if you see here all the steps that are required has been documented here, you should be able to follow it uh, on by yourself. I'm just going to walk you through with it. Basically, we are going to do three simple steps. First is going to create and role in the production account. And then in your acceptance account, we are going to create an user who can assume that role. That is all we are going to do. And we are going to add the trust relationship so that uh, your production account will know that this is the user who is trusted to assume my role. Uh, so the basically we need two prerequisites that is one or uh, two accounts one is going to act as our acceptance account I have logged in my uh, acceptance account here and I have a user called as David and David is part of a group called as a dev group here I've also opened that here and if we go to users you see David here under permissions as of now there are no permissions for this group but in a short while we'll configure permissions so that David can access the production account uh, uh, here I am in my production account uh, and you can see here I have logged into incognito mode because uh, you cannot access two accounts at the same time so I opened it in a different browser. I have an S3 bucket which is what we are going to query in the end of this uh, cross account role setup uh, list prod bucket details and there's an index.html file which we will be querying it and uh, here under IAM section we are not having any roles right now in a short while we'll create a role here. Going back to the github article, you can see here all the steps that are here that is first is going to create an prod role and then going and creating an access. So this is what I'm going to do and you, if you just follow this uh, article or the uh, video that we are going to do now, you should be good in setting up a cross account role. So the first step is to create a role in your production account. So let us go ahead and create the role. And this is going to be used by another account, acceptance account. So click on the second icon which says another AWS account and put in your acceptance account number here and click on next permissions. And I want only S3 read only permissions. So choose that, click on review. And I'm just going to give the name that is in the article so that uh, we can reuse the ARN. So our uh, role name is going to be acceptance to read production S3 bucket. You can create any no, uh, role name you want but I'm going to stick to this one and we, our role is created. If I go ahead and open the role, this is the permissions that it has and then under trust relationship, you will find the account number of your acceptance account. So that is all you need to do in your production account. This setting is done. Let us move on to our acceptance and create a trust relationship. I am in my acceptance account now and under the IAM group called as dev group where David is a member. And what we are going to do is we are going to create a permission here under inline policies. Go ahead and choose custom policy and click on select. So we are going to write a custom policy and that custom policy is going to allow us to assume the role which is in production account. So I'm just going to change this account number to my production account. So and then I'm going to name the policy as assume prod S3 role. So you can have any name here. I'm just going to save this as apply policy. And now my policy is set. So if I have logged in as an, a David user in any CLI, I should be able to assume this role and go ahead and query the buckets in S3. That is all is there. I have already configured an um, AWS CLI in a Linux machine with the AWS credentials. Let us go ahead and see if we can go ahead and query the production bucket now. Here I am in my AWS CLI where my CLI is already configured with David's credentials. If I go ahead and execute AWS S3 LS, it is going to query only my acceptance account. And as of now, if you remember, uh, David's group that he is part of doesn't have any permissions and he cannot list any buckets. But if you also remember, we have given the user to assume a role in production bucket and to check that this is the command to uh, check that here I'm saying STS assume role and this is the role I want uh, this AWS to assume and I'm creating a session name also if I, we have done all the steps correctly we should be able to get a temporary token and you can see here I'm being issued a temporary secret key and temporary access key this is valid for one hour and we will be able to query the uh, bucket 
uh, with these credentials. What you can typically do is you can go ahead and add this in your AWS uh, uh, credentials, but this will be valid only for one hour. So you will not be able to query it in a regular way. So the best way thing to do is instead of adding your credentials, you can set a configuration so that uh, whenever you query it with a different profile name, we will be able to automatically redirect to a production account. So the steps to do that is all these commands are there in the GitHub. You, you should be able to follow them and copy paste them. So this command that uh, you see on the screen, AWS configure followed by your set profile name and I'm calling my profile name as prod S3 followed by my role and then I'm giving the role ARN and if I do this, what happens is my AWS config file will be updated with a new profile called as prod S3 and for this profile, I'm going to say use my default credentials that is David's credentials. And uh, if you have your credentials named something other than default, go ahead and change the value here. So if I go ahead and do something like this, more.config, you will find that there is a new role ARN added and then the uh, source profile is also pointing to default. So if I want to query the production bucket, if you remember there is an index.html file in my production bucket, all I have to do is to list all the buckets. I'm going to say something like profile, prod, hyphen S3 and if everything is fine I should be able to list my production bucket so there you go I'm able to list it and if I want to see the particular details of this bucket I'm all I'm going to say is AWS S3 LS hyphen hyphen profile and then I'm giving the profile name followed by my S3 path URI just going to get the name right and then followed by this and if it works fine, I should be able to get my index.html also. So this is how you provide an user access from one account to another account. But if I, if you remember, if I still go ahead and say something like this without the profile name, I'll still get an error because David doesn't have any credentials in the acceptance account, but he has access in the production account. So if you have any trouble in setting it up across account roles or delegation, go ahead and put them in the comment section or if you find a better way to do it, put them in the comment section. We all can learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.